Welcome back to the SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll learn how to read acceleration from the MMA8452Q accelerometer. I've connected the accelerometer to power and ground, and connected the I2C data and clock lines, SDA and SCL, to the breadboard. In LabVIEW, I'll click on Help and choose Find Examples. Then I'll click Search and type Links and press Enter. I'll choose the Lynx MMA8452Q accelerometer example, and I'll double click to open it. I'll close Example Finder, and on the Serial Port dropdown, I'll choose the Redboard, COM3. The Redboard only has one I2C channel, and that's channel 0, so we're ready to run the VI. I'll click the Run button, and once LabVIEW establishes a connection to the Redboard, we'll start to see the acceleration on the graph indicator. If I move around the board, you can see the acceleration values change to indicate the orientation of the board. Let's take a look at the code. I'll click Stop and switch to the block diagram by pressing Control e You can see we establish a connection to the breadboard, then we open a connection to the accelerometer. We give it the slave address 1D. That's a hard-coded address for this accelerometer. Inside the loop, we read from the accelerometer and output X, Y, and Z data in a cluster. We pass that directly into our waveform chart so we can visualize it on the front panel. At the end, we close the accelerometer, which closes the I2C channel. Then we disconnect from the Lynx device and handle any errors. Let's look inside these accelerometer VIs. I'll double click the accelerometer open VI and press Control E to see its block diagram. The accelerometer is an I2C device. So when we open the accelerometer, we're actually opening an I2C channel, doing some configuration by writing to and reading from the device and checking to make sure that we were able to find the device on the I2C bus. You can build up sensor-specific VIs using the Lynx peripheral VIs like we've done here. I'll go ahead and close the block diagram and close that VI, and look, let's look at the accelerometer read VI. I'll double click to open and press Control E to open the block diagram. You can see here we call an I2C write, and we send it one byte, and then we read six bytes. These correspond to the X, Y, and Z accelerations, which are 12-bit values, so they're stored across two bytes. Then we index an array and pull out all of those bytes, and we do some conversion. The bytes are stored in two's complement, and we need to convert them back to decimal and then to g's. So that math is done here. And then we bundle them into a cluster and pass out our acceleration data. This type of accelerometer is the same as the accelerometer you might find in your phone, that rotates the screen when you tilt your phone. Think about how you could use an accelerometer in your projects. You could use the X, Y, and Z accelerations to control red, green, and blue on an RGB LED. You could maybe create an alarm system that flashes an LED and sounds off a siren using a piezo buzzer when someone bumps your desk. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.